Hello and welcome back to MKC Electronics. Today I will be working on my Andra 3V2 3D printer. It's my first 3D printer and uh, so far it does amazing job. Uh, like uh, I did print a shell for my for my car key like that. I did print some, some other small bits. Uh, I print the this. It's not so su successful, but that wasn't the printer fault. That was my fault, because I did slice it the wrong way. But uh, yeah, I'm having great time with this. But the printer comes almost perfect from the factory, almost perfect. There's just few upgrades what you what you should do right over the bat. So for me, first thing, I will be doing these springs. Yeah? We'll be replacing the stock ones because the stock ones they kinda they are too soft and when you tighten them they buckle to the side and it's, it's just not good yeah you can level the bed you can do stuff but it doesn't hold for a long time and you have to always play with that and i want to have a more fun with printing than uh, leveling my bed so this one i did order on amazon it's actually come with combo like this and it came with the uh, metal extruder from Creality and uh, springs and bowen tube and uh, etc but in this video we will start with the springs first okay so I will set this aside because that will be in the next video and let's take our springs out so what these springs are they are stiff very stiffer than the original i will show you when once i get them out i can't i'm going full on i can't compress it and they are flat on on each each end ish yeah but yeah they're flat so you can set them up better uh tools what you're gonna need it's uh none you don't need any tools so what you do, you bring your bed slowly forward because once you once you're moving that the uh, in, the engine makes uh, electric and you don't want to fry your components. You remove these clips. Okay, and take the glass bed off. Set it aside safely. And now we have these uh, adjustment wheels on the bottom. Let's lower the camera. Okay, that's better. Now we are at the right height, so you can guys see. Okay, so you spin them anti-clockwise and do two at the same time. Okay. So uh, bring it forward more. You can do the back ones. Again, I will try at the same time. And on my my left that is a there's a, a cable for heating for to heat the bed and it's have like a strain relief plastic shroud so be careful with that Okay, so now I can gently lift it up and kind of set it aside like this. I can, okay, here is the strain leaf where I was talking about. You can see. So just gently, gently, because here is the solder connection to the bed. And uh, yeah, okay, let's take the springs away. While you're here, you can check if your belt is centered correctly. As I can see, mine did shift, so I will leave, lose it now. And just set it in a oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. Yeah, don't do that, don't copy that. That was wrong. So yeah, this needs to be set like this, so the belt runs uh, through. Let's 
right? All right, so here's the original spring. And that's what I was talking about. I can compress these easily compared to upgrade another chance okay so first uh first prank what i would like to put on is the back one with this with the stem leaf because that will probably hold in place because of that shroud so i'll put it on oopsie okay let's lose that one i'll pick it up and put it on and yeah, just like that it's kind of fiddly this one but it will go on okay let's sew down okay so we have it on and now let me find the other spring. These ones I would set like this on the holes and try try to hey this is not that flat as it should be. Let's put it this way. Yeah, it's probably will compress and it will be flat. Okay, let me find the other little spring. I got it. Okay, we have our lost spring, and let's try to set it back. Test it. All right, all right, all right. Let's do the strain relief and okay, spot on. Let's check it's flat there. Yeah, as it gets. That's uh, fine. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so now just put back on those wheels, but don't tighten it all the way. Mm, don't do that. Just start the wheels. And I will start with the with the part where it's the strain leaf so it sits already right in place. <clears throat> Okay, so now when you have uh, all four wheels on, tie them out uh, all the way down in pairs. They're now fully compressed. Let's start the back ones. Same process all the way down. <coughs> all right, so they both, all four corners, compressed all the way down. Yeah. Now it's not just it gives you the time with the level bad it's give you more precision when you do your leveling and i think that's awesome so let's put our glass bed on back on and clips back on And that's it. You successfully upgrade springs on your Ender 3 V2 3D printer. So now we can slowly move it back in. And uh, don't forget, you can't be printing yet. You need to do bed leveling again. All right, guys, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And watch the other videos of me upgrading the printer because I have more parts to go in. And uh, we can go through that together.